Hello, Virgos. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do a quick reading for you all. Not a quick one. I actually plan on this one being a long one. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on, Virgos. I hope you are all doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. My loves, let's see what we got going on. I've been having very, very weird feelings. They want me to leave it like this. Uh, I've been having a weird feeling lately. Um, I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure why, but let's see what we got going on, my loves. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. My loves, make sure you check out Crystals and Reiki for all your raw crystal needs. Um, if you use my Virgo Empress discount code, you do get 20% off. They do have a variety of crystals. It has what each crystal represents on the description before you purchase. And they do have a section for the most raw and rare crystals that you can purchase. So I hope everybody checks them out. I'm going to link their website in one of the comments below that's pinned. I have, uh, there's, <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Give me one second. I heard someone's thoughts. Let's see what we got going on, Virgos. I'm not sure if this is going to be energy or love. I'm honestly just going to read whatever comes out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lots of Leo energy, fire energy. All right, my loves. Let's see what we got going on. I'm going to start over here. You have, ooh, lots and lots of Leo energy. All right, you have the sun in reverse. You have the six of wands that came out um, horizontally. The page of cups and the page of coins. I feel like there is a mystery that has yet to be um, risen. I, I want to get like risen back from ashes. Tomorrow is the new moon in Virgo, my love. So new, um, how would you say? New beginnings, new mindsets, new goals, new focuses, and Virgo related issues. So your career, stability, your mental and your your health in general you know so make sure those things are in focus when you are manifesting for this new moon but i do feel also i think venus is in virgo at the moment or is it in libra venus is in libra now i think actually i do feel like there is like coming like a justice coming to um your love life I feel that strongly with the sun in reverse my loves this is something that has not appeared this is something that has not shown itself this is something that you haven't taken notice of or someone you haven't taken notice of just yet the sun in reverse my loves means that it is still hidden it's still in the dark this is leo energy but it can also mean that you're not feeling your best right now there is a lack of happiness in some area in your life i feel like i've just kind of um switched spots that's weird is what they're telling me switched spots i feel like i just switched spots with someone um i just heard the possibility of switching there's something very strange uh that they're trying to tell me i do feel though that somebody is not very happy there someone's miserable and depressed and pretty down is what i feel someone needs a little bit of sunlight sunshine or someone is just oversleeping. Um, I feel like it could be you and this person. Like, again, I feel a very, because I said switch spots, I'm feeling a very big um, energy uh, seesaw. Uh, how would you say, I don't want to say translucent. I want to say um, telepathic, but I almost said telephonic. Both you and this person want to call each other. Both you and this person want to talk. Or you're expecting a call and they're expecting a call. Like there's something about both of you trying to <clears throat> expect the same thing out of each other. I don't know why I did that. Something just told me to do that. 
It's like both of you are just checking to see if there's still a flame. Is there still feelings? Is there still anything? And you both are expecting a phone call from each other or at least a conversation or someone reaching out with the six of wands here, my loves. The six of wands, when it came, I tried to put it upright because it landed this way and I thought it was supposed to go this way. It landed horizontally, <clears throat> which tells me that there is no winner or loser or there is no win situation or lose situation in when it comes to you and whoever this is. It is still horizontal. It is still stagnant. It is still yet to be determined. Someone's going to make a move eventually. Someone's going to make a move because they're getting too impatient waiting for the other to reach out, whether that's you or this person, Virgo. Hmm. It's almost like also like this person is not trying to notice, not trying to make it obvious that they're keeping their eye on you, but they are. But they're trying not to make it super in your face or super obvious, but they still are even if they feel, even if they're putting up like a, I'm over this situation. With the page of cups and the page of coins. Like I'm getting like every time the phone rings, they think it's you or they hope it's you. They're hoping that it's you and it never comes. And perhaps you're both in the same energy. Like every time you're like, oh, I know who it is. And it's like not that person. Page of cups and page of coins, both very um, premature energies, immature energies, childlike energies. This means it's starting from the beginning. Okay. There's going to be an apology, a heartfelt emotional talk, and perhaps a offer to move forward. All right, if this is not an apology, this is just expressing feelings. This is going to be something very heartfelt, something emotional, something that is like a game-changing necessity for you and this person, whether you have a history with this person or not, because I'm getting both ways. I'm getting like you do know this person. For some of you, you don't know this person. This could be in the very, very early stages of a new relationship. And for some of you, this is the very early stages of a new relationship with someone you already know. I'm hearing that song, Unbreak My Heart. Unbreak My Heart. Uh, say you'll love me again. Um, someone's heartbroken. Someone wants an apology and somebody wants a new, a new beginning. Someone wants an apology. Someone wants a new beginning. There is definitely some sort of... You both have been hurt in the past, whether it be with each other or by different people outside of this reading because... There is a sense of like there's there's ice on both parties. You know what I mean? There's there's a cold heart on each side. There's a burnt heart on each side. This is definitely getting ready to start something very brand new, but very, very promising, Virgo. Whether this be in a relationship. Now, for some of you, this is a manifestation that has not appeared yet. And it is, it is coming into your grasp now. An opportunity. Something that hasn't shown itself that you've been waiting for. You almost kind of like don't even feel like you're going to get it. A wish come true. And maybe right when you least expect it, that's when it comes in. And that's what this is about, my loves. I'm getting strong timeline jump. Frequency jump. Turning things up a dial. And I have the chills everywhere talking about that and saying that this is the start to your forever relationship things are going to start going really serious for you it's going to be it's going to be slow and it's going to be healthy
but it's going to be long term. And for some of you that don't resonate with a love situation, is anybody in Alaska? I'm seeing like Alaska. I'm seeing um, the Netherlands. I'm seeing a, a huge, tall shadow of a man with a very thick, thick coat. A long brown thick coat. Like something you would wear like in a blizzard or something. Like that is what I'm seeing. I just heard I'm ready to face the winds. I'm ready to... Ooh, chills. I'm ready to face the wind. Like the wind winds. But I'm also hearing winds. Like W-I-N-S. Winds. I'm ready for the win. I'm ready to take on all the winds. Like... Give me what I need, like what I want. Give me what I want. Give me the prize. And that's this. This is the beginning to a start of something that is going to be your ever-flowing momentum from here on out, Virgos. Life is about to change. And whether this be in something big like a relationship or something big as in... <sighs> I'm getting like lottery or casino wins. Like I'm getting that that grand of um, manifestation. Oh, chills. I'm hearing like a grand am. Like and I'm I'm not seeing like a car, like grand am. I'm thinking like a grand amphitheater. You know what I mean? Like there's something about travel, there's something about s stardom, you know? Like there's there's something that's like tying this all together and I'm seeing like a star being formed, like the shape of a star. That sounds so corny, but that is what I am seeing. This message is talking about the beginning to forever. I, I am hearing the words everlasting hope. The day after the new moon, I feel there's going to be a shift, my loves. <clears throat> the day after the new moon, there will be a shift. I'm recording this on Sunday, tomorrow, on September 1st. Happy September, my lovelies. Tomorrow, there may be a shift. Tomorrow, there's the new moon, and then the next day, I think there may be a shift. You might feel it. It could be something small. For those of you that are oversleeping, that's possibly why. You're oversleeping because you're jumping timelines. In the mutual energy, my loves, the strength and the knight of wands, okay? Those are both Leo energy. Let's see what we got in the surrounding. In the surrounding, you have the two of wands in reverse. The ten of pentacles. The four of pentacles and the queen of cups. How many of y'all cut ties the past couple months this year? How many of you have been cutting ties, cutting cords, knocking down old cinder blocks that have just been sitting there? You've been moving stagnant energy, my loves. This is why all those cutoffs and things like that and people coming back, for, like loose ends, were haunting you, Virgo, because you were cutting off stagnant energy cords, right? Like, think of it like a toaster being plugged in that you never use and you never plan on using. When you cut the cord with someone with that same energetic transfer, you pull it out and get rid of it and you move the stagnant energy around. This is what gets everything flowing again, what gets everything moving. Some of you have been organizing, decluttering, removing friends, removing family, letting go of relationships, letting go of jobs. That's all that this was. You had to get rid of a lot of different things in a lot of different areas of your life to get that energy flowing, which is why the blessing is going to be so grand. I just heard try a couple grand. <laughs> Some of you are about to get either an amazing job, an amazing deal, or amazing money. Chills on the money. Over here, my loves, the two of wands and the ten of pentacles. I think you had to decide what heavily, heavily, what the heck? Heavily. Some of you were heavily in 
like a purge. You were in, in a, a very heavy purge here. Some of you had to decide what happily ever after looks like to you. Have y'all been thinking about that since Neptune, Saturn, Mercury, everything was in retrograde together? The Two of Wands talks about picking a path. There's this song by Peso Pluma and Cali Uchis. Um, I think it's called Angel, like Angel. There's this part where he says, in, in English, it says, Some people want silver, some people want fame. I, I, I feel strong like you were on a life path fork in the road, my loves. Some people, for some of you, I feel like there's like been an option given, like, do you want to continue living this way or do you want to try something different? And for some of you, you've made up your mind. Happily ever after doesn't look like what you once thought it looked like. So all these trials, tribulations, people, issues that you've been encountering was to realize what makes you happy, what makes you unhappy, what can't you deal with, you know what I mean? This was all about creating your forever path. You had to envision, imagine what your happily ever after looks like. You've been working on this. Ten of cup, I'm sorry, ten of pentacles, Ten of Cups is happiness, and Ten of Pentacles is long-term commitment, marriage, family, white picket fence, stability, good career, good income, wealth, generational wealth, peace of mind, even like moving somewhere else. I'm getting like multiple properties for some of you. I'm getting multiple properties for some of you, several different homes, travel, things like that. I'm seeing like you're in your king and queen era. You're at your highest point. You're at your highest potential, my loves. This is what it is. Your, your gifts are going to be given because you have realized some of you happily ever after is just quality time with your family. Some of you happily ever after is advancing in your career. Everybody's situation will be different my loves but there is definitely the key to something being open i'm seeing somebody like hide the key to happiness behind their back like it's like you picked the right door you know what i mean like i'm seeing beetlejuice where she's trying to walk through the door and you picked the correct door to win the grand prize is what i'm getting like with the four of pentacles here and the Queen of Cups in reverse, you just had to release, again, stagnant energy that was laying low and still in your heart, in your heart chakra. The Four of Pentacles is releasing and letting go. I'm hearing reserved and reservation. For some of you, it's like you had... Mm, also, like, mindsets had to be released, you know what I mean? You had reserved feelings um that just needed to be let free and with the queen of cups in reverse whether you're male or female however you identify my loves it was things in your heart chakra resentment hate um patterns from the family that could not continue that had to cease with you your heart chakra had to get pumping and moving again there was stagnant energy around and in your heart as well that needed to be released. Old heartaches, old heartbreaks, old vengeance, old mm, regrets, old resentments. Which is why there had been so many releasing, so many toxic cords being removed, so many unhappy career paths that you have uh, reverted from taking, you know? There is so many things going on here. And for some of you, even just something as small as cleaning your room or cleaning something is, is what's getting energy flowing again. In the mutual energy, my loves, again, the strength and the king of, I'm sorry, the knight of wands, Leo, Leo, and then we have Leo. Leo is ruler of 
the spotlight you know what I mean they have the spotlight at all times it's very much so like I'm seeing like someone stand center stage and then the spotlight just go like that you have to cover your eyes you know it's very much so you're in the main character era you're in your main character at the moment this is your role and you're gonna roll with it and you're gonna kill it you know what I mean like you're gonna just it's gonna be perfect like what you envisioned is going to be perfect because it's what you wanted it's what you asked for it's what you prayed for it's what you've been manifesting even if you feel like it's not coming my loves it is this is the start to your happily ever after the strength in reverse and the knight of wands being strong through the trials and tribulations and the troubles and the struggles holding your head held high handling what you had to do and also not backing down and with this knight of wands not backing down from what you're passionate about what you believe is right what you know is is true and what you know is the correct way that you would want to live the knight of wands is someone with passion it's someone who's ready it's a go-getter it's ambitious i know what i want and i'm gonna get what i want and you stand and you still stand on that i know what i want i'm gonna get what i want i know what i deserve i'm not gonna settle until i get what i deserve i just heard chicken wings I'm seeing a seed, like a like a pistachio seed. You know how they come they they come kind of cracked, a pistachio seed, but like opening up and like a stem growing into a big tree. I also feel like somebody or some people are admiring you at the moment. Just like, gosh, I am so lucky to have known Virgo I'm so lucky to be okay with Virgo I'm so proud of what Virgo has overcome there's definitely at least three or four people that are just taken back in awe by you Virgo a sister a friend a stranger uh, someone you have a good rapport with there is someone who is just like I cannot like starstruck even, maybe even a little starstruck. Virgo is so, I almost said stardom, strong. They don't want to act like they, they're they like looking at what you're doing and stuff or keeping track of stuff, but they're like, I, I'm seeing someone like, like bend down and like peek and then bend down and like, oh, I forgot something and then walk away. You know, like there is people who realize that you have gone through so much turbulence and still landed strong underneath the deck my loves the nine of wands there is still an energy of afraid to fail afraid of being hurt afraid things will never work your way or afraid of people in general afraid of being afraid of being burned you still have a very overprotective energy over you and yours wriggles but that's slowly going to start to fade away, okay? The Nine of Wands, you're going to start living and stop letting fear control you interacting with the outside world or how you interact with other energies, other people, other places, you know? There's a very, very big feeling of anxiety that you get, I feel. It's not for nothing. I feel like your soul is just trying to protect you. Um, and with the Five of Wands, my loves, um, a battle this talks about a battle but I'm getting strong like you've won the battle you've won the war you've won to see the better days you're out of you're out of the turbulence it's smooth sailing skies the eight of cups moving on to your wish fulfillment to your happily ever after something that you've been dreamed dreaming for something that you've prayed for or something that you've dreamed about I'm seeing a big bear claw the battle has been won and it's forgotten I'm moving on I'm moving forward following the river water is 
emotion, it's love, it's fulfillment. And you're going to receive it, Virgo, if you haven't already. Aquarian energy. I'm getting life. Check where you have Aquarius in your chart, my loves, because I'm getting life, especially home life, is about to feel very, very different in the most beautiful way I can possibly say that. I have the chills everywhere. I'm get, I'm seeing like a lotus flower just like blooming, exploding, and like all these petals falling down, like like a poof, like a like a just raining serenity. Judgment. Because it's what you deserve. It's what the universe, God, your ancestors, whoever it is you pray to want you to do, it's what they want you to have i want you to have this judgment libra energy some of you it's something as simple as a happy family christmas is going to feel so amazing this year for those of you or the holidays in general are going to feel so amazing for you again i'm seeing the key i'm seeing the key that someone had with an open door and the door is just open it's like you're not going to forget what got you to where you are. Like you, you know you can always go back there. There's a feeling of gratefulness and just accomplished and hum like humility. There's this these great things that you've learned in one package for goal. Which is why you're not getting one thing, you're getting several. The grand prize, the grand finale. I feel like some of you have even made peace with your enemies, peace with the people who have done things wrong, you know, things that have done, people that have done wrong to you. Because you've been being tested by what people from your past. Pay attention to the people that are coming into your life because those are people from your past that, again, had, you had loose ends, you needed to sever it once and for all. And you needed to sever it with a new eyes, with new, with a new heart, with new eyes, with a new mind state. And you've proven that it's just done. Scorpio energy and the Ten of Swords. For some of you that have been dealing with enemies or people that you don't like or people that are significantly... Um, coming around that have treated you poor or, or, or done done you dirty you know what I mean there was no malice there was no out of character type of energy the sword simply fell out of your back old wounds don't hurt anymore for some of you you have proven balance between your mind your mental and your emotional your heart even if people want to get a rise out of you. My loves, this is so intense. I feel like a huge, huge shift. Like, I honestly feel, if this sounds really dumb, and unless you could see me right now, like, I feel like my shoulders are just being, like, levitated. Like, I feel like I'm floating. If this message is resonating for you, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, my loves, like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I think this new moon is a new moon for a lot of y'all in terms of health, healthy relationships, and stability, healthy balance between work, family, mind, heart. Manifest those things, okay? Be sure to manifest those things. Show me some love messages. Manifesting. Crazy. It, I, it just takes the words out of my mouth. I will never forget you. It's telling me to put it here in the mutual energy. I will never forget you. Like, you, like I'm, I'm getting strong. Like, you're going to be a staple in people's houses, in people's households. Like, that people are going to remember you. Or, I used to hang out with Virgo. I used to know Virgo. You know what I mean? There's something about them being proud of you and admiring you. And, like, I will never forget what Virgo went through or what they've done alone. Or, like, I, I'm getting strong again. Like, there's some sort of, like... 
I almost said shell shock, but like starstruck energy. People are intimidated by you, but in the best way possible, I guess you could say. No one pleases me like you do. I talk to people about you. No one pleases me like you do. I talk to people about you. Some of you had to let go of a major significant connection, relationship, or job. Because you were talking about these new shifts in in your career, in your relationships, cutting people off. You were talking about it to people. Something you wanted more than anything, you had to release. And because you did that, that is why you're getting everything back times 10 have you ever seen that that meme where this little girl's holding like a torn up teddy bear and there's like a holy figure with a bigger teddy bear behind their back trying to give it to her that's what this is you had to give up the thing you loved the most in order to get something 10 times better it's not a loss my loves it's an upgrade like and that's what I'm getting that is what I'm getting you had to get rid of the people that were going to use you or wanted to be around you for the wrong reasons I use you for money slash sex people that had ingenuine intentions with your with you your life and your energy that is what you had to get rid of oh my goodness Virgos let's get some moon messages peeps like I said, somebody is still kind of watching over you. Open ears. They're still kind of watching over you, listening, like seeing if you're posting. We have Charmer. I will stop at nothing. Yes, this is you stopping at nothing to get what you want. And then we have, look at Scorned Lover, Bitter X. Someone's going to regret letting you go, like kind of like the one that got away. The one that got away, Virgo. Are you the one that got away from whoever this is? Let go flow. Express yourself. Communication is key. Again, I do feel like there is a heartfelt communication coming with someone at least. The answer is no. 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 Someone is like, like uh, you, you intimidate people. They're scared to even like come up to you. You intimidate people karma what goes around comes around karma is at work you'll get what you deserve which is why you're getting good karma because you've been doing some good healing and some good shadow work my loves give me one soul confession they gave us two please give me a chance to fix this i know it's my fault i'm still confused about my sexuality um They're telling me to put them both there. There's going to be a very big talk, and I'm getting it's one you don't expect. I won't be able to handle knowing you're with someone else. Why do I feel like someone of importance is going to want to collaborate with you or going to want to start a relationship with you, Virgo? It's going to be someone of importance because it's going to be very, very public or very, very known about this connection. Your anger and aggression are too much for me. Your words cut too deep. Some of you had to heal. Some of you had to heal the bad energy, the resentment, maybe even resentment within you that you had for people. I'm no good for you. You deserve much better, which is why you had to do the healing and do a glow up, an involvement, and a time jump, my loves. This is like you being the best you on the best possible level that'll match your frequency. Remember, the higher your level, the more better opportunities come to you. And that is what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling, and I feel like I want to cry right now. But that is what I have for you, my loves. I hope this helps. I hope this resonates. I am sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love you so very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon.